guys so today I'm doing my monthly makeup basket these are the items that I am focusing on during this next month I posted my last month's um, last month so I will link that video down below and my current like makeup rotation playlist down below if you guys are interested in some of the other past makeup baskets that I have had but these again are the products that I am working on now I did recently go through and used up quite a bit of products this past month so be sure to look out for my empties video coming next week but let's get into the products that I will be working on on a pretty consistent basis moving forward. So we're going to start with eyes. For my primer I am using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion Anti-Aging. Now I love the Primer Potion Anti-Aging, works pretty well as well. I'm not a big fan of the packaging however. I don't like that it has the wand and the tube. Um, what I do typically is like I'll get a little bit out but really I'll just squeeze the packaging get a little bit and then take it like up to apply my lids I find that the wand is a little bit too dry to just take it out of the packaging like that but this is the current eyeshadow primer that I will be using and have been using lately I am working on an eyeshadow crayon this is Laura Mercier caviar stick and amethyst I do have it on today it is a gorgeous like light purple lavender kind of shade and I love wearing this on its own or topped with eyeshadows. I right now am wearing the Lorac Pro and the Kat Von D Alchemist palette on top of this amethyst caviar stick so I do have a, a get ready with me either before this, posted before this, or after. I'll link that video down below for you guys if you want to see how I came up with this look. But I did use that shadow. I am working on two palettes this year. One is my Lorac Pro. I update you guys every first of the month so you guys can check out my last one. I'll link it down below to see where I am currently at painting this palette. And then the Urban Decay Naked palette. I'm going to give you guys kind of like a update every other month with this one just because it doesn't have as much progress because again I'm working more on my Lorac Pro palette. But these are the two palettes that I am working on a pretty consistent everyday basis. What I don't have in any of those palettes is a matte white shadow so I did pull my Sephora colorful matte eyeshadow and let it snow. I picked this up a couple months ago and you can see it is already having a, a dip in it. So I love this for every day just for my matte eyebrow little shadow. So I use that. Eyeliners. I have a pencil eyeliner here. This is from Lancome. This is the Drama Liquid Pencil in Noir Intense. So it looks like that. I did recently sharpen this. And this is a really nice dark black liner. This goes on very smooth. It says that Drama Liquid Pencil, so it should apply like, like a liquid eyeliner. Um, I still love me my liquid eyeliner over this, but I am going to try to reach for this more this next month because I do need to start getting these pencils out of my collection. Also, I have my Rimmel Scandalize Nude Liner. This is my favorite nude liner for getting right in my um, waterline. So this is a gorgeous one. Not cruelty free though. So if you guys are going more towards cruelty free products, this isn't one to get. If you guys have a cruelty free option for a nude eyeliner that is great for the waterline, let me know down below because I'll need a different product after I use this up. Then I have my little baby Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. And this was actually a 100 point perk this past month. Today in my Get Ready With Me look, I finished the full size of the Stila Stay All Day. It is the liner on my eyes today. It did dry up. I use that baby pretty much consistently every day for a couple months. So I am so happy I have this little baby one or I would not have one at the moment. Right now I'm on a no buy and I'm still debating. I mean, I have a lot of other liners in my collection, so I don't want to purchase one, but this is the only liquid eyeliner, so I may end up purchasing it once this is done. But really I want to concentrate on using my pencil liners. Then for mascara, I am using the Essence Lash Princess Full Splash Effect Mascara, and I've been using this for a couple days. Today I have the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir on, but this is, I like that it is a natural bristle 
brush and I find that it makes my lashes look pretty pretty nice so I will let you guys know my thoughts and continue to use this more this month. Then for primers I have a bunch of like little samples I pull these in my sample Sunday or hashtag 365 to samples and this will last me a good bit so I have the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer this is just the original one I like it okay it's not anything to write home about I just pulled the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Complexion Primer Potion and this is for your face and then I have the Benefit Pore Professional and this one's nice as well but again not cruelty free so those are the primers I'll be working on. I love the Smashbox. This is the Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I use this every day as my under eye step. This helps moisturize and brighten my under eyes before concealer. Love this stuff and I have a lot to go so it will not go bad or go away anytime soon. Then for foundations, I have two kind of BB creams I'm working on. One is the e.l.f. BB Cream SPF 20. It is what is on my face today. I really like it. Don't like the packaging, however. I find that the pump and the squeezy tube doesn't really get a lot of product out when you're pumping, so I either have to like pump first and then twist off to get the rest of the product out or just sometimes I don't have patience for this but I do like the product in this just the packaging is not my favorite the other product is from Laura Mercier this was a kind of like a deluxe sample or like I think it was like a promo code or something from Sephora this is the tinted moisturizer SPF 20 sunscreen light weight flawless coverage in the shade nude so that is gonna last me a while and then the days I want a little bit more coverage, not too much more. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Foundation, and the shade I use is 3.5. Love this stuff. It has a pump. It works great. I get every last drop with this product. I have, this is like my third or fourth bottle of this. Love this stuff. It is a great product. Concealers, really I want to focus on these two in particular. One is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in the shade Peach. I find that this does a great job at canceling dark circles underneath my eyes. I'm also pretty down, like to the bottom, almost half, more than halfway of this product. And then this is the Too Faced Born This Way naturally radiant concealer right here in the shade I have is light medium I like to pair this with Urban Decay and then use this on blemishes of my face these are my older concealers in my collection I do need to focus on using them but really every day I really am drawn towards my Tarte Shape Tape this is in the shade light neutral I can use this on my under eyes on my blemishes all over my face and it does a fantastic job Love this stuff, but I really need to draw myself more towards using these two products to use them up. And then I can just focus on buying and using this one product over to always a better deal. Then for powders, my under eye powder that I use a lot is the Kat Von D Lock It Brightening Powder in the shade Petal. This is kind of like a lighter pink, pink powder. And I love this for underneath the eyes. It helps brighten it up a little bit more. Fantastic. Then I have two primers. One is kind of like a deluxe primer, not primer, powder. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed. So I have a little bit of that. That will last me a while. Also have my Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I love this for every day. And it is a fantastic nice drugstore powder. Love this stuff. Then I also have my higher end days I want to be a little bit more fancy. This is the Hourglass Dim Light Ambient Light Lighting Powder and I love this stuff too. You can see I do have a dip going on on that. So I love that powder. For a bronzer contour I have my Smashbox Contour was the step by step contour palette it has a contour bronzer and a highlight so this will be what I am going to gravitate towards in this next month and keep working on I pulled this in the sample Sunday no not sample Sunday um, my rolling project 10 pan so I'll be focusing on this 
Then for my blushes, this is also in that Rolling Project 10 pan. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush, and I've been working on this quite a bit as well. Love it for every day. But when I don't want that glow sparkle, I have my Bare Minerals The One Blush. And this I got a long time ago from recommendation from Makeup by Tiffany D. And I love it. It's just a neutral pink. I do have it on my cheeks today as my blush, and it's great for every day. The highlight that I want to use other than the Smashbox highlight is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. It is the highlight on my cheeks today. Love this. Such a gorgeous highlighter. Definitely recommend it. If you guys are looking for a good highlighter, it is not cruelty free, however. Then for brows, every day when I want something really quick, I do the Essence Make Me Brow eyebrow gel mascara it is the only thing in my brows today it is a fantastic product for easy quick and go brows it has a little mini kind of mascara brush but I guess it's an eyebrow brush I love it though it is fantastic sets my brows and gives it some nice color throughout the other days when I want to feel a little bit more fancy I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow is in the shade light medium or medium brown and I love this stuff but the little spoolie broke off I'm really sad about it I guess I was a little too rough on it or something but yep I have this product I didn't use it in my brows today but I have it for the days I'm going to spend a little bit more time on my brows and the brow gel I'm using with that is my NARS brow gel and this is just a clear brow gel. I bought this my NARS was cruelty free but they're not anymore which is sad. Then for lip products I'm really focusing on two but I have a third that I've kind of been gravitating towards this past month. The one I am kind of wearing on top of another product. The lip duo I have on right now is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lipstick in Dusty Mauve, and then I topped it with my Nude Sticks, what is this, Mystic Lip, lip Pencil, and this lip pencil is in my Rolling Project 10 pan. I'm also working on this in my 17 and 2017 Lip Edition Project pan, so uh, definitely gravitating on using that baby up. Then I also have my YSL Rouge Volep Shine in number 2, Purple and Can Touchable. So this is a darker look if I want something a little darker, more berry tone. And then the lip product that I've been gravitating towards a lot lately is my Bite Beauty Multi Stick in the shade Cashew. I got this from like a deluxe sample or promo code, something like that. I also have had a sample of this shade. Really like it. It is a great like nude lipstick for me. So I've been reaching for it off and on. I'm like really out of breath. Whew. And then lastly, to set it all, I have my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This stuff does wonders. I love it very much. So those are all the products that are in my current monthly makeup basket. Let me know if you have any of these products. Do you have any recommendations for me? I'd love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!